All right. One second, I'm gonna give all praises to you how bad Shemi or Shai. The ball on us on the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. That's true, well. And peace and um, blessings to you, brothers, all you that's putting this with in 2030. I'm gonna do a video here um, about who who we going to, going to preach the gospel for and, and, and what is our rest. Who we going to preach the gospel to and what is our rest? And I will start with this precept here, Luke chapter 4, verse 18. It, said, it, said, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had, taught, he had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and, to, and recovering of sight to the blind to set at them to set li liberty to set at liberty them that are bruised yeah and, and the scripture say anoint me to preach the gospel to the poor now who is the poor poor in spirit Israel Israel is the poor right now the poorest are, are, are the um are all the nations we, we is the least of the nations right now we are the bottom So this info no, from for no Elamites, no no Elamites, these other nations, Arabs and them. This is for the, the Hebrew Israelites, the, the um so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. We are the poor. We are the broken hearted. We are the captives. And that he hands are the so-called white man. So this is this is for the, the Hebrew Israelites. The gospel is not for other nations. The most I don't deal with other nations. Said to preach deliverance to the captives. And if you go back to um to, to um Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the last verse. It says, let me get it. Um, it says, And your house shall bring me into Egypt again with ships. Now that Egypt they're talking about into slavery. Because you don't need ships to go into um, the land of Egypt from Israel. <laughs> So I'm talking about slavery. We'll prove that. Because Christians like to say, you know, that we're mad men. So I'm gonna prove that. It says Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. It says, I am the I am your Howard I power, which I have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So you see bond where is the Egypt? It means sometimes it, it could mean the, the, the um the real Egypt. Sometimes it could mean the, the bondage slavery which is um, um america um america have many names in, in the scriptures babylon um egypt rome sodom because it take up the arm um, the traditions the custom the philosophies of these places so let me go back to the deuteronomy 28 verse 68 says and Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I speak unto thee thou shalt see it no more again and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen and who are enemies the so called white man we were, we were sold unto the so called white man by Africans Our, um if 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 we were Africans, they wouldn't sell, um, sell us into slavery. And no no man shall buy you, no man shall free you. No man shall free us. No man ain't gonna buy us out of the hands of the, the um, so-called white man. The most I can take us out of the captivity. Most I can redeem us. The most I bought us back. And 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 the so-called white man gonna pay for for that. Pay for having us in, 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 his, in his hands, his captivity. 
on the his, his rulership. Because, <clears throat> so, let me, so let me go back to the scripture and look. It says, um, to preach the gospel, to preach deliverance to the captive, recovering of sight to the blind. And we want, we were once blind. We were once blind, Ephesians. Okay. It. Um. Ephesians 2 verse 1 it says and who, who he had quickened who he had brought to life who were dead in, tres in trespasses and sins where in times past you walk according to the course of, of this world according to the prince of the power of, of the air the spirit that now work it in, work it in, in the church of disobedience and that is, that is how we was blind we was blind because we didn't have the, um, the Lord we wasn't working according to the Lord's statutes and, com and commandments and we didn't have the truth so we was walking according to the course of this world. It says, among whom also we had our conversation in time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of, our, of the flesh and of the mind, and will by nature and will by nature the churn of wrath, even as others. So we were blind. We were once blind. We were once as 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 two thirds, as how two thirds living now. But the elect were never two thirds. They were living like two thirds. They were living as heathens. So it's a, um, bringing sight. It says, um, and, and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised. Who are bruised? The, the Hebrew. He was the Hebrews, the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are the we are the blues. Grand German. Says Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 12. It says, For thus said the how thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous. So we are the bruised. Most I say our bruise is incurable. So the so-called white man have us in slavery so long, so long that we forget who we are. The first time we forget who we are, and the most I said that he will cause that to happen to us, cause us to forget our heritage. <laughs> eh. Verse 19, it says to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, just when the Lord coming back. So it's when the Lord coming back to um, bring destruction upon those that, at, um, that hate him, his enemies. So this so-called white man, the Edomites, namely Edomites, the Israel and nations, and two-thirds of Israel, because two-thirds of Israel do not like Yahweh Shai. Two-thirds of Israel hate Yahweh Shai. So it's they, them he coming to destroy, Get, make a speed with himself. And and he called this out of the book um, Isaiah. You could see it up here. He called it out of the book of Isaiah. And if according to you Christians, if um if the Old Testament was done away with when he, when when Yahweh Shai came, why would he speak out of the Old Testament? <laughs> why would he speak out of the Old Testament? Why would he quote the Old Testament? So when the, new, when the Old Testament was done away with after he died, questions don't make no sense. The Old Testament done away with the, I gotta say the laws and the and, and the um the laws and, and the laws and such done away with. But he quoted out of um the Old Testament. The, Messiah, the, the Lord say didn't come to destroy the um the Lord nor the prophets. Get up. It says Matthew 5, chapter 5 verse 17 it says take not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets take not 
He come to destroy the Lord the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. To fulfill what was written about him. And it have it have things in it have prophecies in the Old Testament that, it, that are not fulfilled yet. That are to be fulfilled. It says, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the all this all its script all its Christians don't have this this um scripture in all the Bible or this scripture non existent in all in all the um, churches or it says till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled and all ain't fulfilled yet still have prophecies that come to pass still have the the the, the so called white man to be put into slavery the kingdom of heaven to be established, the war in heaven, which all the thing happened already. World War Three. These other nations going into captivity. Still have all these scriptures to, to come to pass. Um, either might be totally destroyed. Still have these scriptures that come to these um, prophecies that come to pass. These prophecies to be, to be fulfilled. Not so not one shot or one tittle shall in no wise part from the Lord till all be fulfilled. So how come the old testament um turn away with? Because even 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 the Lord read from the old testament, they see that in Luke. And on many other occasions. I'm gonna stray from the um from from the from the from the lesson. Go to the book of Romans ten verse thirteen. Romans chapter ten verse thirteen it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh you um you Christian go take this talk and I will every every everybody. Know this talk and I'm out of the um out of Israel. says whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved and what's the name of the lord the name of the lord of of, of the most of the most high how and his son's name is how shy and who who called upon him on, on the name of the lord the um the of the lord the man the man um great millstone to have other camps are doing it too the other camps who have the the, the 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 full the full the full doctrine the, the right the right doctrine So you 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 Christians who call upon Jesus, you and and you Muslims that call upon um, Allah and those that call upon G, um, Jehovah and Yeshua and Yahushua and Ahaya and Yasha, you all in one be saved. Scripture that, that will scripture say that because that is not the name of the Lord. These other nations ain't gonna be saved because these other nations do not call upon the name of the Lord. And if even they call upon the name of the Lord, the the was not gonna be saved. Verse 14 it says, How then shall they call on him who, who have the, on him whom they have not believed? How then could you call upon your house shy if you do believe upon your on, on your house shy? Now how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear with other preachers so that I be called on the highways and the Bible to preach the gospel? To preach. To preach good tidings unto the meek, unto the humble, unto the broken hearted. And, and who are the meek? The meek are the elect. The elect of Israel. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Hey, so we ain't going out there on we own. The most I send us. The most I send us for us as unprofitable servants to do. To preach this gospel. To preach, to um, to warn these people of the um destruction that is to come. That would the most high son us for to do. Not to um be on games in the street because we have nothing to do. <laughs> Few people think, why would men come out in in, in garments with fringes, for fun? It's not for fun. It's not because. We do have nothing to do. 
and we just feel to go out the most I send us to war with people so when destruction come you wouldn't say that you have you didn't know because we warn you all it's on the internet we go out on the highways and the bibles in different parts of the, the country to preach unto you people but you people are stiff naked you people are stiff naked and hardened hard-headed so you people ain't gonna, ain't gonna listen but any destruction come then you would want to know then you will be looking for us I mean, the fam, the fam, and the wood would be when you wouldn't hear from us again. You come looking for us, begging us to tell you what next, but we wouldn't have time to because that is your that's gonna be your portion by that time. <laughs> that's gonna be your lot, destruction. But it says, um, and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings, glad tidings of good things. Which any gospel of peace. What's the peace? The peace is that the kingdom of heaven is ours. Meek shall inherit the earth. Point spirit. The point spirit shall um, enter into the kingdom. Those that have the faith, those that believe in, call upon the name of your Hashem or Shai, shall be saved by the gospel of peace. But the reason why we speak about war is because it has to have war before it has peace. Peace, the peace is going to be when all the, 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 these other nations in, um, under our subjection so we wouldn't have no more war. We wouldn't have these people building up nuclear missiles, um, guns, bombs, and all these things under our, our rule. So that when that when it's gonna have peace, but we had to take down the so-called white man first. Verse 16 it says, But they have not all uh, obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah sa said, Lord, who had believed our port? Who had, who had believed our port? The elect alone. None else. So that's why we when when destruction comes upon you people, we don't we don't um we're not gonna feel um we're not gonna mourn for you people because we warn we warn we warn you first before it come so that when it come you, you people couldn't couldn't say you didn't know because you people you people you people you people don't want to come out of this captivity you, know? you people you people love this captivity you people love being under the, the so-called white man so-called white man could do to you whatever he likes, but you people will still <coughs> so like you people will still not try to come out of this captivity. You will believe that you could you could build up a house, buy this, buy the best car, have the best chick, raise up kids, send them to Islam. Universities and so on and so on and and live here for the rest of their life and the kids live here and the and the grandkids and so on and so on but you people don't want to come out of this you people you people believe that this is life well this is not life this is hell this is slavery this is not your rest this is not your rest Your rest is in the kingdom. This is not your rest. We cannot do as you like. If you want to go from here to America, everybody had to know you, you, you do that. Esau had to know you do that. If you, if you want to walk, from, if you want to leave from Trinidad to go to Tobago, Esau had to know you do that. You had to have documents. You had to pay. You had to go on one of Esau's planes. <laughs> or boat. You don't, you don't have freedom, Israel. You don't you do not you're not in, you're not you do not have freedom. You let Esau fool you with that um freedom thing, that independence day thing. That freedom from from oppression. You, you people are not free. People are continuing being oppressed. When you're free, you do not have to pay tax. People paying tax daily. 
everything for, for you to eat. Your food are taxed on it. Your house, your own house, your own land. Your own car you have to pay tax for. If you're buying clothes, it's a vat on it. But you people free. Got a scripture. Micah 2 verse 10 says, Arise ye and depart. It says, Depart, which means not to stay here. For this is not your rest. Because it, it, it is polluted, it shall destroy even with a sore destruction. And because two thirds not gone, depart, that's why they're gone. And the polluted, that's why they're gone, be destroyed. Okay, no unclean, abominable, abominable thing will enter into the kingdom. You have to be cleansed. And if you're not cleansed through the word, you're going to be cleansed when you're when you, when you, when you done and come again. And you're in your right mind. That way you're going to be cleansed. If you're not cleansed through the word, you're going to be cleansed through the fire. So this is not your rest. So depart. Now what is your rest? This, this is your rest here. So, um, I'll start Isaiah 20, I'll start at 9. It says, Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are, that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little and there a little, and there we go back and forth in the scriptures. For the stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. <laughs> To whom he said, This is a rest, where it you may, you may, you may cause the to rest. And this is the refreshing. Yet they would not hear. Yet two thirds would not hear because two thirds love this place. Two thirds believe that this in this kingdom is a rest. So that was that why they would not hear. This is the refreshing this world. This truth. This is the refreshing, this is a rest. This truth is your rest. This is your seek. This is your hiding place. Your fortress. The truth. That, that's, that's why we, 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 um, we might not be at ease because we know what, why this thing is going on and we know it have an end. But two thirds don't know it have an end. Two thirds do, do not understand. Because the most I pray in the spirit not to understand, not to understand, so that they will be destroyed. But get this last piece up here. Then I'll close off. Second Thessalonians 1 verse 7, it says. Um, I'll start at 6. It says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, to them that trouble us. Starting with the, the, the elect. But goes on to Israel too. To them that trouble us. What who trouble us? So called beginning with the so called white man. These are the nations, these are the nations. Um these are the nations in but you know, going up against so called white man for having us in slavery. So them too helping the so called white man in afflicting us. It says verse seven, it says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shy shall be revealed from heaven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. Who are, who are troubled? The elect. One to that Israel trouble. So that's why we're coming in. We are we, 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 um, we, 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 um, staying in this truth. We believe in the gospel. Now we're taking this as our rest. It says, When the Lord Yahweh shy shall be revealed from, he from heaven with his mighty angels. So um, you go and cut off now. So I'll close off with that. I'll give all praises to you. How about Shemir Oshai? Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Um, salutations to you. I came out there that's spreading this word in two times and share time with that. I want to say um, shalom.